What's up YouTube? This is Sam from Taidu Schooling and today we're going to talk about the cranial nerves. Uh, this is a summary of the cranial nerves, a lecture only giving summary of these nerves. We'll be talking about the 12 cranial nerves. So the cranial nerves are actually a set of 12 paired nerves that arise from your brain. The first two nerves are olfactory and optic nerve and in this lecture we'll be talking about those 12 nerves, where they originate from and what is their function like uh, which, uh, which main function do they supply to and uh, in the end we'll be talking about uh, in between the lecture uh, which part of the uh, brain uh, like their nucleus is present or from which part of the brain do they arise it's just a quick video on the cranial nerves so nothing in detail we'll be making a detailed lecture on every nerve because every nerve needs an, uh, a, a, an individual lecture a detailed one so this is just an introductory lecture First, let's uh, have an overview of the cranial nerves, like we'll be talking about the origin. Uh, we know we uh, put the numbers on cranial nerves, like this is the cranial number one, that is the olfactory, cranial number two, optic, again, we number wise, we number them, as number three is oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibular, cochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, spinal accessory, and hypoglossal. Why do we name them? Because uh, this is in descending order. As we go from up and down these uh, nerves, uh, that, like they are given the numbers. So I'll be mentioning this in this diagram. So for example, consider this as your midbrain, for example. I just made a midbrain. And this is your... Alright, this is your pons, the upper one, this is your pons, and this is your medulla oblongata, and again, and this is your spinal cord. And as we go up, this is your cerebrum, right? So this is your cerebrum, this is your midbrain, this is your pons, and this is the medulla oblongata. So remember the first two nerves, that is your olfactory and your optic nerves, they actually arise from your cerebrum. Remember this one always. There are actually 12. The first and second one, that is the olfactory optic nerve, arise from these two areas. So I'll put number one and number two down here because they, those arise from here. Remember a formula, remember it this way. Two, two, four four what does that mean like two nerves arise from your cerebrum two arise from your midbrain four from your pons and four from your medulla oblongata so this is kind of a formula to remember them so two from your mid from your uh, cerebrum that is the olfactory and optic the two that is oculomotor and uh, the trochlear actually arise from your pons so there is a third one down here and the main nerves that is the uh, trochlear again that is arise from here the uh, midbrain and the fifth sixth seventh and eighth nerves arise, arise from your pons remember the main nerve that is your trigeminal nerves arise from your mid pawn area like this is a big nerve trigeminal nerve a very big nerve this is the, uh, found in the middle area of the pond, so this is number 5. And the number 6, 7 and 8 are actually found between the junction of ponds and medulla. So, so in some books they write like they are located in the ponds and some books they write like it's in the, at the junction of ponds and medulla. So I'll put it right down here. We got 5 here, we can write 6, 7 and 8 right down there so this is a midsection of the brain this is the one side this is the other side just remember it that way again six on the three on this side three on this side right so uh and the other we have reached the eight nerve we have got four the last four nerves that is glossopharyngeal vagus and spinal accessory and hypoglossal nerve and these four nerves are located in the medulla oblongata right so i'll be putting it like uh, from the side you go six or do you go with nine 10, 11, and 12 you go by the side of the pyramid, so you'll be finding a pyramid right down here. So this is your 12th nerve, right down there. Right, this is a very simple, simply uh, diagrammatic, uh, an idea of how these cranial nerves arise from or where they arise from. Now we move forward and uh, talk about the main function 
of these nerve are and with the function we'll be also talking about where they exit from like as they arise from which part of the brain or you can say bone they actually get exit so with an exit I will put in heading, heading down there by word E I mean exit so the olfactory nerve exit from your cribri form plate all right so they, it's exit from cribri form plate and it, its main function is I'll put an F for function its main function is smell all right and this is a purely sensory olfactory an optic nerve is also purely sensory so I'll put uh, it, it, it exit from your optic canal with the word optic you can remember it by an optic canal and it's also vision and it's also purely sensory for oculomotor you it, it exits from your superior orbital fissure remember this one superior orbital fissure and uh, the function of oculomotor is uh, for it, it uses as motor more its motor function is uh, as extrinsic eye muscles and levator palpebrae muscles and it's also used in the popular uh, pupillary sphincters number four muscle is your trochlear uh, your number four nerve is your trochlear nerve and it exits from your the uh, superior orbital fissure right your trochlear nerve also exits from superior orbital fissure remember this one that uh, your th uh, second your third sorry your third your fourth and fifth fifth and sixth all exit from your superior orbital fissure so this will be always superior orbital fissure so this will be also superior orbital fissure so all these four uh, go out move out exit from superior orbital fissure right so uh, the number fourth which is trochlear its function its main function is for the superior oblique uh, which is a superior oblique muscle and number fifth which is the trigeminal nerve which has very vast functions but it, it itself has three branches if you go for the trigeminal nerve it has uh, three main branches which are remember let me put it maxillary you have got the maxillary branch which is the from down, down one then you have got the mandibular branch and you have got another branch called thalmic branch all right so this is for your trigeminal which is the main nerve and uh, uh, which is your main nerve because in the case of the ophthalmic nerve it also exits from the superior orbital fissure but uh, the other branch is that is your maxillary which actually exits from uh, foramen rotundum and mandibular which exits from your foramen ovale and every part has different function in case of ophthalmic Remember this one, ophthalmic actually supplies your scalp, forehead and nose. The maxillary supplies your cheeks, lower eyelid, nasal mucosa, upper lip, upper teeth and palate. And the mandibular which supply the anterior two-third of your tongue. Remember this one, anterior two-third of tongue. They usually ask in Viva, the uh, anterior two-third of tongue supply. You will be saying that uh, mand uh, that is the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve it also supplies the skin over mandible and lower teeth and also the muscles of mastication number six nerve which we have talked about which is abducens nerve and it supplies the lateral rectus it's also a motor nerve now let's talk about the seventh nerve which is the facial nerve it exits from the internal acoustic which is the internal acoustic meatus right internal acoustic meatus it exists from there it has vast functions it uh, supplies it has the sensations to part of external ear it has tests from anterior two third of your tongue hard and soft palate it also supplies your muscles of facial expression um, which by by which means it has a lot of functions so we'll be talking about each and every function in a detailed lecture on this facial nerve now let's move towards the vestibulo cochlear nerve which also exists from exit from internal acoustic meatus by which that mean uh, it is also a purely sensory nerve and uh, the vestibulo cochlear nerve is functioning in hearing and balance right its function is a purely sensory and its function is hearing and balance number ninth lecture number ninth uh, nerve which is glossopharyngeal nerve it's uh, exit from the jugular 
for ramen and it also has a vast function as it supplies the posterior one third of the tongue, external ear and middle ear cavity, uh, also the carotid body and sinuses. It also supplies the test from one third of your tongue. Number 10, which is the vagus nerve. Everybody knows about vagus nerve and where it exists from? Surely it exists from your jugular foramen, right? Jugular foramen. It also has vast functions. I don't have to mention, but I'll be just repeating them by function, which is externally your larynx and pharynx, larynx, pharynx, and thoracic, your taste from epiglottis, smooth muscles of pharynx, larynx, and most of the GIT, and most of the muscles of your pharynx and larynx. Number 11 nerve, which is the spinal accessory, which is which also exists from your jugular foramen. And number 12, 12 is hypoglossal, which exists from hypoglossal canal. Hypoglossal canal, right? So this one, uh, the spinal accessory, which is the jugular, for exists from jugular foramen. Uh, it, it supplies your uh, trapezius and external cleidomastoid muscle and a few fibers run towards the annex to uh, some viscera as well and the hypoglossal nerve which is uh, the motor nerve which is GSM and it supplies the intrinsic and extrinsic tongue muscles except the platoglossal muscles so this is the, the introductory lecture on the cranial nerve hope you got a just basic idea like how many nerves where they arise from and what their main function is and this is it. Uh, we'll be coming with another lecture, a detailed lecture, in which we will explain about everything. We'll be talking about every detail of it. Thank you for watching and keep visiting Tiger Schooling.